Okay. I want to speak about um, the racism thing. I got a message. I got a couple of messages. I think these messages that I'm talking about are from white people. And they're, they're saying they just want racism to disappear. They want everyone to treat everybody right. And they think it's silly that people are still being racist and people are still being prejudiced and people are still out there being childish, really. And I agree. But I want to say, don't white people, right? Don't, if you're not racist, don't get upset about racism. And black people, unless someone's being racist to you, don't get upset about it. In fact, even if they are racist to you, don't get upset about it. You really don't need to. Chill. I mean, sometimes something might happen, like if something happens to someone you know, a loved one or a friend, and someone's racist to them and it hurts their feelings and it might annoy you because they're upset. That's understandable. But if someone's racist to you, understand. Understand why they're saying what they're saying and think about what's in their mind. And then you should just feel relaxed because you understand that you know more than they know. You know you're above that person because you wouldn't go around doing the type of things that they're doing which is lessening them as a person. Don't need to stress it. Seriously, don't need to stress it. That's why I try to kind of make light of this Yuri um, Vips guy. Try to make light of it, really. Because he's, he's just, what, is he 20, 20 or something? Should, what we should be doing is looking at his parents. Why does he think it's okay to be doing what he's doing? He obviously hasn't been taught right. What school did he go to? What country is he from? What school did he go to? And who are his parents? They're the people you want to be looking at. Because if he was taught right, he wouldn't be saying what he's saying. It's, n it's not even really to do with age. Because like I said, I watched a video before I made the video about talking that, about that um, Vips guy. Vips guy. This young kid, I'm actually going to put it on the channel. I'm going to get his video. I've already asked him if I can do it. He says, yeah. I'm going to put his video on the channel. So we can see that it's nothing to do with age, really. I mean, it does. it is a factor. But it doesn't matter. If someone's got the right upbringing in the right environment with the right people around them, then at all ages, as soon as they're old enough to realise and separate themselves from other people, then they can learn what being horrible is. It's not even being racist. Being racist is just being offensive. As soon as you learn not to be offensive, if you know what being offensive is and then you're still racist, then that's, that's your issue. That's that person's issue. They are just an offensive person and they're using racism to be offensive. Now that's, racism is not the only kind of offensive terms they're gonna use. They're gonna use all kinds of offensive terms. Just that nowadays, if you're in the public eye and you be racist and someone catches you doing it, there's a problem because it is a problem. I'm kind of whispering talking because I'm sat outside in the park and I don't know who might be listening. And if I'm just sat in the park yapping on about black people and white people, people might get the wrong idea. I don't want to offend people, do you know what I mean? I have some old people around here and I'm here going, oh yeah, black people this and white people that. <laughs> They're not going to get the context. But anyway, this racism thing is going to happen again and again and again. But hopefully it just becomes less and less. But let people, let, the, let what's happening happen. Because look, F Wonderful is on it. Wolfpack Performance is on it. Cameron F1 is on it and you know what i'm warming up to cameron f1 again i mean i still i've just accepted all right that he's always gonna ride max verstappen <laughs> it's just gonna it's just gonna but do you know what i mean i like it's kind of switched it up a little bit it's got that other um that what's his name i don't know the name of the channel there's a podcast people black guy and a black girl if you watch him you'll put you know what i'm talking about they're on there doing the um link ups there's a couple of other people he's linking up with. And there's a, um, there's a Chinese guy and an American American guy. I think they're both American. But it's one's um, a white guy and one's Chinese. They talk about Formula One. I can't remember the name of them either. I watched, that, that, I watched their stuff. They're, all, they're quite good too. I've not seen what they've said about this Vibs guy, but I can imagine what they're going to say. I've only seen F Wonderful, Wolfpack and um, Cameron F1. So anyway, let, let, let them lot 
and me do what they do. Everybody else, all you need to do is look out for, just look at what you're doing yourself as an individual. That's all you can control 100%. As long as you do right and you don't do nobody wrong, then that's one person at a time. That's all you can do. You don't need to stress it. White people, if you're not racist, and then some white people are racist, and then black people are kicking off because white people are racist, you know it's not you. Just don't play. All you can do is not play your part in racism. That's it. And if you hear racism, put people right. They won't listen, but they will hear you. They won't listen, but they will hear you. And they'll hear it again and again and again. And eventually, then people will be wiped out. They will. Because a lot of youngsters nowadays are just using the fact that, oh yeah, they say the N-word in songs. So what? That's all right. If you can say it, I can say it. It's not, it's not, it's not good enough. It ain't going to wash. It ain't going to wash. That word can't be used by white people because the way white people use that word, like I said in my other video, you abused that word. That word meant something and you abused it. So now you can't use it anymore. It's not, it's not our fault you abused that word or not you personally, but people that look like you abused that word. So now it's been taken from your vocabulary. You're not allowed to use it anymore. <laughs> and people want to complain about that. Wouldn't you rather get your... Um, a word taken from your vocabulary or your whole history taken and hundreds of like millions even hundreds of thousands of people taken and sla enslaved or just one word taken from your vocab come on now it's not a big ask so when white people go around saying that they're just wrong ignorant selfish they're not nice people they're just not nice people as soon as a white person says that word they're just not a nice person so that's what you take them for. That's it. <laughs> so if you're if you're not that way in kind, chill. Chill out, man. There's a lot of negativity flying around everywhere. Oh my my channel just I was thinking about it the other day. My channel is just a negative channel. Because I'm talking about Formula One and I'm annoyed at Formula One. So most of the time it's negative. But in real life, I'm not walking around negative. I'm, I try and be the opposite to that. My channel is a Formula One channel. I'm annoyed at Formula One, so you get the annoyed side of me. But now I'm sat in the park. I've got my trainers off, my feet on the ground. Grounding. <laughs> and I'm not no hippie. I was just thinking the other day, it's been months and months since I actually put my feet on the ground. Months been walking around on rubber trainers, rubber soles, and rubber is an insulator. So I'm being insulated from the earth. My feet have not touched the ground for months. Every time I go outside my house, I put trainers on. Every time. So today I've come to the park and I've got my found a nice little spot. I've got my feet on the ground. The sole of my feet. Why is it called a sole? So the current, the electrical current coming through our system, we absorb the sun sunshine. We absorb the sunshine, like a photo, photosynthesis kind of thing. We absorb that sunshine on our skin. That energy is coming through and it needs to go through our soul and connect to the earth, connect to the planet so it can complete that electrical current, that electrical flow. If you're wearing rubber, it's insulated. So you're all backed up and stressed. Let the current flow through and connect with the earth. Sounds all hippie-like, but it's scientific, man. Look it up, scientific. Look up grounding, science behind it. Biology, science, and religion. When you mix all them three, I think that's where the answer is. In fact, Jesus, squeeze us. It's a dog coming. <laughs> what? No, no, it didn't make me jump at all. I'm cool. <laughs> but anyway, what was I saying? Biology. What's the other one? Biology. Physics. No, biology, chemistry. In fact, physics as well. But physics is confusing, man. Biology, chemistry, and the book. Not religion, the book. Because people made religion from the book. The book isn't religious. People create, people read the book, create religion from the book. Religion ain't the book. So, biology chemistry and that book the bible 
that's where the truth is, man. When you mix the two, mix all them three together, you're getting, you're getting everything. You're getting everything. Not that I've done it. I haven't. I've half done it. Not completed it. Because it's long. <laughs> it's a long process. And it's hard to do it when you're stuck in this, in this society. Too many distractions. Too many things you have to do. Money you have to make. There's too many things that would take you away from actually finding out the reason why you're actually here right now. It ain't so you can go to work, that's for sure. <laughs> but I don't know how I'm gonna how am I gonna close this one out? What have I been speaking about? I've been speaking about religion, science. Um, I spoke about grounding when the dog can run around the corner. Kind of scared me a little bit. Can't can't deny it. <laughs> um, that's talking about the racism. The racism. Some racism does go way too far. It really goes way too far, and that stuff that's 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 bad. But the majority of racism is just some idiot saying something. Take away that power. Use that again. Anyone that says the N-word, don't get annoyed at it. Otherwise, they've they've annoyed you. Just think how many people this Vips guy, this Yuri Vips, how many people did he upset? Don't give him, he didn't upset me. He he can't he can't upset me. Why am I gonna give him the power to be able to upset me? Not a chance. Not a chance. That guy can't upset me. So just because he said something. Don't allow that thing that's been said to upset you. Use that thing that he said if it's wrong to make him, you have to pay for it. He has to, he has to go through the process of saying that kind of thing and he's got to do his apology and he might lose what he's been working for in racing. It might all go, it might all be done now. Who knows? But let that happen. But don't let it upset you. It's all good. And let's end on that. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs>